Hello everyone. In this video we are going to learn about dependency inversion principle. By the definition, it's saying that high level modules should not depend on low level modules. Both should depend upon the abstraction. And second part is that abstraction should not depend on details. Details should depend on abstraction. Let's understand with example what is actually high level module and what is low level module just open the new project select visual studio c sharp console application and let's see inversion principle demo this okay now first we'll create one class public class that is a customer business logic okay. in this class we are going to create constructor and one method public void well, let's say example we are going to get that name get customer name Okay, guest customer name and BL. Next, I'm going to create one more class that is a data access layer public class. Data access customer data access. This is that customer data access. I'm going to create method constructor and one more thing. We're going to create one more method that public. It will return the string get customer name data access. Okay, it will return a string that is a customer name. Okay. I have created two class one is the data access layer and second one is the business logic so what I am going to use in that uh, customer business logic class there is one method that is a get customer name business logic so now I am going to create object of a customer data access obj is equal to new customer data access and obj dot get customer name data access okay so here you can see that uh, there is a two class that business logic class it's depend on the data access customer data access so what will happen that customer business logic is the high level module and that customer data access is the low level module who are which class is going to use the another class that is a high level module and uh, which class i'm going to use so that is a low level module but in the dependency inversion principle it's saying that high level module should not depend upon on low level module so but here it's a violating the rule because that high level module that is a customer business logic it depend upon that your customer data access layer because it's here they are using that one and one more thing is that it's a loose, loosely coupled means like a sorry tightly coupled architecture because this one uh, customer business logic and customer data access is that one dependent of each other so how will solve that because and the other part it's saying that both should depend on the abstractions so here the meaning of the abstraction between the bridge between your business logic and your data access layer means like a customer data access so abstractions in uh, in another word you can say that it's a non -con concrete class or uh, non -co concrete in the sense that you cannot create the object it's like a normal this this class is is that concrete class non -concrete, concrete in the sense of the abstract and interface so what we have to do we have to build between of them we have to create that abstraction then abstraction in the sense public that is interface that I am going to create that abstraction data 
access uh, here i'm going to create method that is a string get customer that method and uh, this one this uh, interface that i'm going to use in customer data access layer okay and this one is implemented so here what we will to do we have to create that here it will be that interface now here you can say that uh, both are not dependent on each other both are dependent on the your abstractions so one more thing so we can implement here we can create that one factory class just like a public static public class like a data access factory I'm going to create one public static it will return that i customer data access and get customer name and it will return like return new customer data access so in that business logic so we that means business logic because here you can say that uh, it's uh, also implementing that one that a data access layer so what what will do that one will create that will call this data access like data access dot get customer okay so it will return the object now you can see here it's both are not dependent on each other means like a, a, your customer business logic is not dependent upon the customer data access layer Bet between of them we have created that one abstractions and one one factory method that is a, sorry factory class we have created that factory class factory class means like it's generating it will generate the object in the soft term of a soft term factory in the means uh, something is generating but in the term of a software it will generate that object so here it's actually it's generating the object it's returning that your object so now in the, in the business logic now if you can clearly you can see in the method of a get customer name business logic it's not depend on the data access layer your the, your customer data access layer you can see here it's not using that your customer data access layer between of that uh, that is a abstraction and one factory class we have used i hope it's a clear thanks for watching